What is going on guys? My name is Rama back again from Roman Reviews here with another episode reaction to ReZero. This is episode 34. Love, 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 love you. That is six loves, five too many. <laughs> Alright, so last episode was a doozy. Absolutely. Um... And I don't really know what's going to happen with regards to everything that's going on. This is his third reset since then. And I just don't know what's going to happen with this arc. Because there is so much stuff going on. And I think that's what gives... Um, that's what honestly just baffles me. Is how much stuff is happening around the world. It's not all focused on Subaru. Um, yeah, Subaru is involved, but there are so many different factions, uh, are so much different, like, things happening where Subaru is literally just a side piece in this entire chessboard, I feel like. He is a pawn, um, compared to everything else is going on. Uh, and I, th I just think that how that they are setting up this world has been absolutely fantastic, and I absolutely can't, I absolutely love all of it. I think it's fantastic, and I love every single moment of this season so far, and last episode was a doozy. We got to see what I believe to be the most brutal, brutal death that Subaru has faced so far, and... Nothing, honestly, nothing has came close to probably that brutality level where uh, he literally had rabbits up his ass. Um, and apparently it is such a small scene that actually is included, but you mean it, you don't actually see it. You don't see the rat in the booty hole. Um, thank God, because even more scar, um, probably not as scarred as uh, Subaru is. In fact, I am legitimately surprised. Okay, so every time he goes into the field that uh, Ekidona... I'm going to call it Echidna. I don't care if it's the wrong pronunciation. Eat my ass. I call it Garfield Garfield because I add the D. I realize I can come off the wrong way. But yeah, <laughs> I'll keep on calling it that. But when he goes to Echidna, he has this moment, uh, he has this feeling of tranquility where he's there. Um, because we all know that it is in another space, basically. Um, speaking of Echidna... Um, well, really quickly, I'll, I'll go back to that point, but you would think that he would be, you know, pretty fucking traumatized after what just happened, and by all means, I don't think anyone would blame him, and I do think that eventually during this season, if not already, I, like, I, I kind of would expect expected this episode, um, he would suffer, he would probably have a mental breakdown, I mean, I could have, like, I could see him, like, being completely shooken up. After uh, that whole ordeal with the rabbits. By the way, I will never be able to look at rabbits the same way. Fuck those guys. <laughs> but, um, going back to Akina, uh, I think it's because she she did say that she was already dead, I believe. Um, or maybe this it's the fact that she's a witch as well, a fellow witch. Uh, why, how they can, how he is able to at least talk to her about return to de return by death so i am curious how this is going to play out eventually when we see satella because i know that we i know that we get to see satella eventually i believe i heard that in the light novel that you he meets her whether it be soon or not um i wonder if she's going to be furious and uh, and because she's she's envious wish of envy she's envious so she's sharing the some he is sharing some of that is special between those two, the two of them um whether it be you know fucking brutal in nature but it is something that it is special between him and satella and i think this is going to get really bad for subaru down the line maybe not immediately but we will see but anyways guys i am curious of what this love time six you is um i'm kind of getting some yandere vibes because I read something recently that had her under her and she said, I love you, 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 with those batshit eyes, you know, those eyes that you see and you know that you don't stick your dick in that because you'd never stick your dick in crazy. Not even, uh, d disregard the rule of only stick your dick in crazy once. No, no, don't even do it once. That, rule number two, don't you stick your dick in crazy. Just don't. <laughs> but yeah, I'm getting off topic. But yeah, anyways, guys, I'm ready to jump into this episode. So without further ado, let's jump into episode 34 of season two. Sorry, in three, two, one, let's jam. Right where they left off. Oh, 
Was ist das da? She wants you. Very good point. Very good qu question asked. No. I mean, I kind of felt that was happening, but from his point of view, a very smart answer to ask. A very smart question to ask. Sorry. So anyone around him is isn't even considered. Yep. How? Oh. To do what it... Agreed. Hmm. He has a resolve. Almost. In a way. I know people have always said that, like, oh, you're probably not going to like. No, but as I was saying, it's like, I know people are like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, hold on. Let me hold that point for a second. The first one being the white whale? The black serpent? Well, one's gone. Because there's so many of them. And you know how rabbits multiply. Hence gluttony. Yep. 
Yeah, so you need to kill them all at once, which is impossible. Which is impossible. And how did it get there? Yeah, you also don't realize how much of a burden and so much a how much of a weight this puts on Subaru. Being two places at once. Fair. So we're gonna see another witch? Oh. He doesn't have a choice. He's gonna risk it. Oh shit. Jeez. That's the witch of gluttony? No, don't, 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 don't touch her. No, you idiot. You're not supposed to touch her. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah. You were so what? What? Are we meeting all these witches? Witch of Lust? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Wrath.
Dude, there's so much shit going on. So we're gonna see... We're gonna see Satella? Oh no, is this her? That's Daphne? Get get. Then who's the first one? Dude, this this episode, there's just so much happening. Who was the first one? I don't remember if it showed. So we got the Witch of Wrath, Rich of Greed, Rich of Gluttony. Because she wanted to... I mean, it was. The voice actor sounds very familiar. No. Ah, okay. I want him to ask about the serpent since they've already killed one. Just like I... Uh. What the fuck? What the fuck? <sighs> Very true. Yeah, who's Typhon? Pri- okay. Alright. And what about Wrath? (laughs) 
Look at Subaru. Just like, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Happy place. Yeah, she is a witch. <laughs> yeah, he died. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, he did wake up right next to her. is herself it's her past Wonder why. And then even more than that. <laughs> oh yeah, what's it gonna be? But like I was saying, I know Echidna is is a witch agreed and she is a witch, therefore she has these she is Sorry, hold on. Ah Foreshad oh But yeah, um I know she's a witch and she's probably gonna be a cruel person was in, in some type of way. Um and that, like, oh, yeah, you you say she's your wife for now, but just wait until you get to really know her. Bitch, she's hot. I don't give a fuck. I'd simp. <laughs> Hell, if they show Satella and she's hot, too. Man, she didn't take up... Shut up. 
No, that chanting is... That's the witch. Every time you hear chanting, that's the witch. Is this... No, this isn't the trial now, is it? No. No way, we get to see her? Ah, that was weird. In my headphones, that was weird. What the fuck is going on? What? Why is Garfield saving the day? I mean, last time I saw you, you literally tried to fucking kill me. So it's not a trial, Satella. What the fuck is this episode, man? <laughs> oh my... Oh, what the fuck, man? So wait, is Satella literally the cause of the man? No. No. Oh my gosh. Dude, you have no idea how hard it is to watch this on a, on a weekly basis. This is so hard. I couldn't even do it on a daily basis. I'd be like, when the fuck is it? It's tomorrow. No, I gotta wait one more week. This and solo leveling. Every time I, I just had to wait a week. Solo leveling left on a cliffhanger. This is leaving off on the cliffhanger. <laughs> this might be my favorite arc. So far, this might be my favorite arc so far. Yeah, I, I I'd probably say this is my favorite arc so far because of what's going on. This season has been an absolute joy. I've had so much fun with this this arc. Ah. Uh. We've met we we met three other witches. Roswell! Wait, why does he have a gospel? Was it the gospel that Subaru had? No, okay. Uh, no, Roswell knows that he can do something. He said, don't make mistakes. He knows. He knows. But what the f- How? And what co- 
What caused Satella to show up was because he talked to Echidna? Is that what it is? And I'm assuming that's not the that's not a gospel we know, right? Because there's a gospel, um, no. Or is that the same gospel? I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember the earlier episodes. Is that the same gospel that Subaru gave to Beatrice? But no, because that actually didn't happen. Right? No, it was before then. It was before he left. So... Why the fuck does he have a gospel? I have no fucking clue, man. Um, if I am if I am missing something, please let me know in the comment section below. If I if I'm doing if I'm looking at it in the wrong point of view, like don't spoil anything. Like, oh yeah, that isn't like for example, if that is a new gospel, don't tell me. Um, but if I was wrong, well, actually, if, if I was wrong about the gospel thing, just let me know and that say like, oh no no, that's that's uh, Subaru's or that's or that's the one that Subaru brought. So let me know that if that is the case. If not, just keep quiet. You can be like, hey, hey, you'll see what's coming later, you piece of shit. <laughs> oh, man. Dude. What the fuck? We got to meet three other witches, technically. We got to meet Witch of Pride, Witch of um, Wrath, Witch of Gluttony. Technically, yeah, we got to fight four because we finally seen Satella. I mean, we didn't see her face, but... Holy shit. That was a, that was a crazy episode. That was a crazy episode. Alright guys, I'm gonna go hurry up and upload this. Um, let me know what you guys thought in the comment section below. Um, if I missed something or I was completely wrong about something, let me know. Um, I always love those kinds of com comments, but if, like, if it's spoilerific, keep it out. I have no idea what's going on, and I absolutely love it because it makes me theory craft. Like, half the time, I sit down, and after the episode, after a couple days of just sitting on it... I come up with more like theory crafting, which is I love. I absolutely love it. But yeah, anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next week for another episode of Read Zero. Until then, have a good one. See ya.